Welcome back to EETV. We are now about to use what's called the miter line method. This method is to transfer features from a top view to a side view or vice versa, a side view to a top view. So the miter line is a 45 degree line that will transfer objects and you make that always in the construction line mode. So we're going to turn on our construction lines, we're going to shift to construction lines, and we are going to create a line in construction lines from this corner to this corner. This is called a miter line. 45 degree line that will transfer objects from either the side to the top or the top to the side. Then if you remember uh, construction lines, we're going to select construction line again, but this time we are only going to use a horizontal construction line. And so what we're going to do is select different points all along here. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, center point, and let's see. appears we have them all up oh, in this one okay so I hit escape and we it's a big long mess remember construction lines are infinite in length so we are going to trim this up and the easiest way to trim it up is to select all these except for the outer ones and the miter line so then when we trim we can just select like that and trim up the construction lines. All right, now we're going to choose another construction line, but this time we're going to say vertical. So this time we're just going to pick these points along the miter line. to transfer down to the other object. Hit escape, trim this up by selecting but not the outer ones and the miter line. Trim so it gives this appearance of the lines coming across hitting this miter line and going straight down. Once we get that set up, we need to do a couple more uh, layers. Now, these layers are going to require you to load different types of lines. And I will show you how to do that. So again, we need a new layer. And this layer is going to be called Hidden. The color is Cyan, which is this light blue here and if you notice as soon as I click it it says cyan down there so I click that um, but then it says it needs a hidden line instead of a continuous that's the line type so I click line type and this comes up and the only thing I have to choose from is a solid line continuous so I have to load other ones. So I'm loading and it says the line type is hidden. These are all in alphabetical order. You notice the A here and as we go down B, C, D, E, F, and hidden. Now this is a two-part process because I've selected hidden I'm gonna push OK. That does it, if I push OK here, it means that I'm still on the continuous. So you have to load it and then select it, push OK, 
and it changes to hidden. We're going to put one more and we're going to call this one center and it is red and the line type I have to load remember first load it's alphabetical to center I push center OK select center OK notice it says center and center and close this and you have those layers okay it doesn't say to clean up my construction lines in fact you'll see they continue past here but I always like to select this construction line select these trim And just go from there and then kind of the same with this one and this one trim so they really don't need to go past the object all right it doesn't say I need to do that so we've we've created our center construction hidden and object now you notice no matter what order we put them in it re organized them in alphabetical order also as we added a new a new layer it will always um, mimic the color of the last one so if I click on this hidden line that's cyan and I add a new layer it will be cyan so you have to change the color I am going to delete this layer now alright so center construction hidden object that is the ones we have and it says set the layer to hidden and create the two necessary hidden lines right and so um, that is oh no first I'm sorry using the running object snaps create the necessary object lines in the slide so this one this one this one and this one on those so I'm gonna make object line my go-to one I'm going to select line and I am going to go to the first line create an object line space space this one click space space this one click space space and then of course the last construction line there space then I'm going to select hidden and do the two lines right on either side as hidden lines so from there to there space space from there to there space then center line and create center lines in the view now you will notice center lines go past a bit so and we have our so I am going to then turn off the construction lines and you can see the object pretty clearly with now this center line is not centered on this object and there's several ways you can do it one way I'd like to do is just bring a line temporarily across select this line select the middle go to it intersects deselect it select the other center line and delete it and now I know this line is centered from top to bottom it's centered left and right but it now is centered top to bottom turn off construction lines set object as 
use the line command create two 30 degree lines as shown so we're going to start at this point I'm going to push at um, I want a two inch line angle and so to go this way you remember this is zero and then up is positive down is negative so I want a negative 30 and it creates that line there for me and then I'm going to create another line here I want it at two inches long again but this time at an angle remember lesson symbol means angle of 210 and then I hit space so I have these two lines come down like such and it says on your own trim and remove the unwanted portions so we want to select all of this all of this oops wrong way huh needed to be green and each of these angles then trim and delete that piece and we've got our hidden lines coming down each side the center line which extends past the edge and next thing is about finding out information about your drawing so one of the ways you can do that is select an object type in list and it will come up with a list you'll see that it is the layers object that that incline was. Um, it's in model space down here and you can see all sorts of properties here. It's a line and it's from this point to this point and it will tell you a whole bunch of information. So that is a handy tool. Okay, another way of finding information is to use properties. So you can select an object and you can move to the View tab and click Properties. Now, most of the time I just click an object and I right button click and go down to Properties. That's easier for me. Uh, and it will tell you the start the end, uh, what angle, the length of it, what color, what's the layer, what type of line is it, etc. Last thing I want to say is that this book is not complete. If you notice, it goes from pages 421 to 424 so it's okay to go to the end but don't forget to pull up pages 22 and 23 which I have on the assignment and what you want to do is to complete the front view uh, which is this L shape down here and so um, make sure your object snap tracking is on and click make sure you're in object and click on align and so what you want to do is select your first point hover there for a little bit come across till you reach that point come up here comes down and when the two meet you can select and then go back to there hit escape 
then you'll want to come up to this line hover go all the way across select come down that go up where the two should meet should snap and then come down all the way to the bottom you'll want to add a center and hidden line as such which is the hidden line so you want to select hidden line you want to select line you'll want to go from the back of this which we could not see but it would be hidden line and then you'll want to make sure center is picked on this and make sure you're on center line select line go from the center come down create your center line now it does not mention one more line um, which is missing off of this final step and also not mentioned anywhere however it is on the first drawing you see of it which is this line right here it's an object line so you want to select object and what it represents what it represents is this edge right where the this angle starts so select line come to here make sure it click and continue down it's an object line and you should be done with your orthographic projection of the locator part.